Terry D Lab following video, I'm going to show you a quick way to make some posi etch prototype circuit boards for your project. So for my circuit board artwork, I use Super PCB software. This is actually older software, but it works great for developing little prototype boards. So one thing I want to point out is I'm going to print this board as you see it. Normally, I would print it with the traces on the back and you drill your holes and mount your parts, right? Well, in this case, I'm going to leave it the way you see it and we're going to surface mount all the chips. That way, I don't have to drill all the holes since this is just a prototype board. Then I'll make my changes and we'll etch the board the normal way. So with my artwork complete, I'm going to make a print first off and make sure that it looks the way I hope it does and then we're going to make a transparency. So here's the paper print, all looks good. There's the transparency which I'll use on the photo etch process so we'll go to that now. Alright so here we go, we've got the transparency ready. It's going to go in this nice frame here with a glass lid which compresses the transparency against the board. I'm using a MG chemicals pre-synthesized board. Got a little circle board cutter over here, which I bought years ago. It's great. Just go put your finger in there. huh? Here's a developing solution. It's all pre-made uh, one part to ten parts water. So next we're going to put the board under the transparency and we're going to expose it out in natural sunlight for just a couple minutes. So these boards do come with some pretty detailed instructions. My word of caution is, is when you take the board out of this protective covering, make sure you're under subdued lighting, okay? A dark room would be preferred. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this board in half because it's a six by four board. I only need half of that. So as not to waste, I'm gonna use this half. I've shut off the lighting in my shop. So just a little natural light coming from outside. So I'm gonna remove this protective coating off the board. Remember, now this thing turns into like a piece of film, okay? So you want to get your artwork on there as quickly as possible. Get it centered. And close this frame. Next step, let's take it outside. Here we are. The best source of ultraviolet light you can get, the sun. I'm going to let it sit out here for a few minutes and then we'll develop it. Back inside, it's about three to four minutes or so, out there in the sun. Put it in the developing solution. Swish it around here. And there it is, you can see it developing. I always work under subdued lighting until I get this board in the etchant, okay? Because at that point, you're beyond the point of no return, right? but I do everything I can to protect that artwork. So this is gonna probably sit here for 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll show you the finish board. All right, here we are out here in the hot sun. It's been about 10 minutes. You can see the board is etching nicely. However, if you wanted to speed up this process, you can use a standard heat gun or you can even use a blow dryer if you got one. And this will help to heat and agitate the solution, which really accelerates the etching time. One other point I need to stress is, don't touch this acid with your fingers. I always use a toothpick, wear gloves, and I also do this outside whenever possible. Keep your dogs away, it's very poisonous to animals. All right, let's check our circus board. Looks like it's ready. Don't see any copper left, looks great. Next step, take some tweezers, get him out, drop in some water. We'll let the water work on it for a little bit. And then we'll check the traces, make sure there's no copper left. If there's not, we're almost done. So there it is, a little MP1 board ready. Now if you really want to make sure that you didn't uh, have any bad traces, hold it up to a bright light. You can see them real well. 
especially those little fine traces that were jumping under the chips definitely want to make sure they're good and as a, as a good rule I always buzz these out with a meter before I call it good normally the next step would be to drill all these holes for your through hole components but on this board since we're doing some rapid prototyping I did not reverse the artwork so we're actually going to mount these chips on top of the board and tack solder right to those pads that way we don't have to drill we can test the circuit and when we're happy then I'll reverse the artwork and we'll use the standard through hole mount so if you have an idea to make your own circuit board I'd highly recommend going to the circuit specialist website they're out of Arizona they carry everything you'd ever need to make custom circuit boards. Hope you enjoyed the video.